Hey folks, this is Shane from Form TV. Today, we're gonna to try and make the car stop so we can make the car go. Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, for those of you new to this channel, this is my project to put a Nissan Leaf motor into a Porsche 911. And I mean, so far we've been pretty successful. We've actually managed to get the Nissan Leaf motor into the Porsche 911. Uh, and I've got the wheels turning with a test battery pack. But as some of you will have seen a couple of weeks ago, we hit, hit a little snag in that um, the brakes don't work. So there's an issue with the master cylinder which means that whenever I press the pedal down, it just goes straight to the floor and there's no actual um, pressure going to the brake pads to make them grip the discs. So what we're gonna to do today is try and get the master cylinder uh, and brake booster replaced so that I can um, actually stop the car and then we can try and run it on the ground. So yeah, let's get started. So what we've got here is the core of the, the brake system. So basically you've got a master cylinder which converts the pressure that you put on the brake pedal into fluid to go into the, the rest of the brake system. And then we've got the brake booster, which basically uses vacuum to try and amplify the pressure you put on the pedal and make it easier to push the, um, the brake master cylinder. So the reservoir here is still intact, so we'll try and keep that, but the rest of the system we're gonna have to take out. So, so with some basic brute force, we got the um, reservoir off. Now I just need to get the rest of this disconnected. So it's always a case of two steps forward, one step back. Um, the only brake boosters that you can buy new these days are slightly later designed than the one on this car. The booster itself is exactly the same. What's different is the um, hardware that actually connects it to the brake pedal in behind here. So um, that's gonna take more parts, more effort. So what I'm gonna do for now is just replace the brake master cylinder um, because the boot booster has suffered internal damage it won't work with vacuum but at least I'll have manual brakes so I'll be able to um, to use them in the short term uh, while I wait for a couple of additional bits and pieces to arrive so I can switch over the um, the booster as well oh well, yeah we'll we'll have something that we can use anyway All right, and with that in there, now we just want to prime the system, uh, make sure that fluid comes out of the the various ports. Okay, so it gets into the um, into the master cylinder. So there we have our new brake master cylinder in place. Um, after couple of hours of effort looks no different to what was there before but it's a brand new part it's working as planned and hopefully that'll be enough that I can go and drive the car um, a couple of meters uh, safely and then we'll look at replacing the the booster um, as part of the overall effort to get the kind of vacuum assist back up and running um, so I, I have power brakes rather than tough manual ones. All right, brakes are kind of working. Motor's kind of working. Just gonna have to give, give it a go, see if we can drive it. Inverter's on. 
drive is engaged, set to reverse. Here we go. It's moving. It's making a few noises, but this Porsche is driving under electric power. in. It's actually really controlled. Um, a few clunks, but that's probably down to either cables that I didn't fully connect or um, yeah, bits and bobs that weren't totally bolted down. Um, but yeah, we're moving. Well, that happened, you know, a couple of weeks later than planned, but really excited to have driven the car, even if it is just a couple of meters back and a couple of meters, meters forward. Um, it's really cool to get this thing driving again. Uh, under electric power, um, there was only, what, 75 odd, 77 volts um, powering that. Uh, not a huge number of amps available, so I couldn't really and wouldn't really want to at this point push it very hard. A couple of things were clicking and clunking when I first uh, tried to move it, but those are just a couple of the things that I hadn't, a couple of bolts I hadn't um, fastened down properly. Once I had them all fastened down, actually the sounds coming from the motor and from the gearbox were really smooth um, and didn't sound like there were any issues going on in there, which is fantastic. So now we've got to try and just continue to chip away at some of those minor things that are causing problems. So brakes are only sort of working at the moment, there's still another bunch of tasks that need to be done on those. Um, that's not just for letting me drive the car and feeling safe about it, it's also going to be the difference between the car passing the MOT, the roadworthiness test, and it failing. Um, so that's going to have to be buttoned up. There's some work I want to do on the suspension. And then, of course, I actually need something more than a... I think I worked it out at about a kilowatt hour battery. 
Um, so I'm going to have to start looking for a proper size battery pack to disassemble and then try and reassemble in the in the car. So I'll have to spend some time building out a you know a battery pack, a, a frame for it, a um, kind of box to to hold it in, and how to get that mounted in in the Porsche. And then we'll start also trying to figure out how to migrate the different switches from that panel into the uh, you know into the the Porsche itself. I haven't actually switched on this car since I took the engine out, um, so I have no idea how freaked out it's going to be at me. I've got the battery on to charge at the moment, so one of the next tasks I think will be to turn on the ignition and uh, see what error codes we get, see what flashing lights come up on the dash, um, and see what work we'll have to do there, because again, that will stop me from being able to get this car on the road. So. An absolutely amazing milestone hit. It was great fun just even driving this back and forth, as foolish as that might sound. Um, still got tons of work to do, and we'll start to get into that next time. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, you know, if you're new to the channel and you want to subscribe, please you know hit that subscribe button. Um, I'll be trying to produce more, plenty more content like this. Uh, but other than that, yeah, thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.